Hello kids welcome to the maths class Today we are going to start a very interesting topic that is angles The main objective of today's learning is to identify the different parts of an angle First of all let us discuss what is the definition of angle When two rays meet at a common point an angle is formed and what is a vertex a common point where two rays meet is called a vertex and what are arms arms are two rays joining to form an angle we use this symbol to denote angle and kids you must also know the unit of measurement of angle is called degree and degree is denoted by this symbol look at this figure what can you see it is an angle with the names given as a b c now we have to find out its vertex arms and names of the angles so let us identify the vertex first as we know the common point where two rays meet is called the vertex so which is the common point yes that is b so vertex is point b now let us identify the arms of the figure arms means the two rays so which are the two rays in this figure that is arm ba and arm bc now let us identify the names of the angles which are the angles that are formed in this figure now let's write the names of the angle that is formed as we know when two rays meet at a point an angle is formed so the two rays are meeting at the point b so angle b now another name for angle b is angle a b c remember kids when we are naming the angle we must write the vertex at the center angle a b c now another name for angle b will be angle c b a again over here the vertex will be at the center angle c b a now kids let's look into some more examples for better understanding write vertex arms and names of the angle look at the figure carefully first of all we have to identify vertex as we have discussed earlier the point where two rays meet is called vertex so which is the point where two rays are meeting this is the point point q so our point q is vertex so let us write point q next we have to identify the arms arms are the two rays of the figure so this is one arm and this is one arm always we must remember we should name the arm starting from the vertex so it will be q p and q r so let us write we will put the symbol of arm q p and q r now we have to write the names of the angle now as we know when the two rays meet an angle is formed so when the two rays are meeting an angle is forming at this point that is angle q so first of all we will write angle q now another name for angle q is angle p q r when we are naming the angles remember we have to put the vertex at the center so we will write p q r 
As you can see, I have put the vertex at the center while naming the angle. Now another name for angle Q is angle R Q P. Again we will put the vertex at the center. So we will write angle R Q P. In the same way let us do the next one. Look at this figure carefully. Now we have to identify the vertex arms names. Vertex as we know the point where two rays meet. So which is the point where two rays are meeting? That is point Y. So we will write over here point Y. Now we have to identify the arms. Arms are the two rays of the figure. So this is ray 1 and this is ray 2. As I have told earlier when we will name the arms we must start with the vertex. So vertex is Y. So we will write it as YX and YZ. Let us put the symbol of arm YX and YZ. Now let us write the names of the angle that is formed. As we know the angle is formed where two rays meet. So this is the point where two rays are meeting that is angle Y. So we will write angle Y. Now another name for angle Y is angle X, Y, Z. Again when we are naming the angle we must remember vertex will always come at the center. So we will write angle X, Y, Z. Another name for angle Y is angle Z, Y, X. Again vertex will come at the center. So we will write angle Z, Y, X. So let's recall what we have learnt today. First of all we have discussed the definition of angle that is when two rays meet at a common point an angle is formed. Then we have discussed the definition of a vertex that is a common point where two rays meet is called a vertex. Then we have discussed how to identify the vertex arms and the names of the angles. So the vertex is the common point where two rays meet. So in this figure B is the vertex point B. Next arms. Arms are the two rays of the figure. So over here arms are BA and BC. Next the angles that are formed in this figure are Angle B, Angle ABC and Angle CBA. I hope kids you have understood the concept of angles and how to identify the vertex, arms and the names of the angles. Now complete the homework that has been given to you in your SNAP homework. Thank you.